Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun all over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, The Waltz Whammy. <laughs> Gumshoes. Carmen San Diego and her foul-fingered finks have fleeced again. This time, they assaulted Australia. More than 200 years ago, Great Britain made its first claim to this continent. Never mind that it was halfway around the world and the climate was totally different from Britain's. It was decided it would make a good prison colony. And many of the prisoners they sent there were from pl another place that Britain had appropriated, Ireland. In fact, many were only guilty of rebelling against British rule. So it's no wonder that Australia's folk heroes were outlaws. In fact, a song about an outlaw has become their unofficial national anthem. Waltzing Matilda, Waltzing Matilda. That infectious ditty about a sheep wrangler and his bedroll is as much a national symbol as kangaroos or didgeridoos. It's called Waltzing Matilda. Well, gumshoes, the song has been stopped. Nimoy, Carmen's evil alien altercator, erased it from the memories of every Australian. They'll be wailing in their wellies from Wagga Wagga to Wollongong until their beloved ballot is returned. Your mission, Gumshoes, nab Nimoy. Waltz Matilda back to Australia and then put an end to Carmen San Diego's life of crime. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. <laughs> and one of these people could find her. Kamala Ram Singh. <laughs> Jamil Summers. <laughs> Felicia Ellison. <laughs> and this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Good, nice to have you on the case. You've heard about it, now let's start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? Chief, let's go. Greg. Nimoy has stolen the waltzing Matilda, and there's no time to lose. Here's the profile on Nimoy. Moi, 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 me, 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 moi, me, 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 moi. A floating face who came from space to pull a case on the human race. And here's what we know so far. According to our agents, Nimoy is on an Indonesian island with four long peninsulas. She disguised herself as a fern and blended in at a Taraja funeral. The Taraja people live in the mountains of this island. Their funerals are very long affairs with feasting, singing, and a dance called the Mabandong, which entertains the mourners and may reenact the life cycle. Now, if Nimoy waits for the funeral to end, you'll probably catch her. Greg. Thanks for the tip, Chief. Okay, guys, name the Indonesian island. Is it Sumatra, Java, or Sulawesi? Remember the clues that we heard? Indonesian island with four long peninsulas and Toraja people. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. And it looks like everybody's got one. Kamala, we'll start with you. What do you say? I pick Sulawesi. Sulawesi. Jamil? I pick Sulawesi. <laughs> Sulawesi. Felicia? I pick Sulawesi. Sulawesi. The answer we're looking for is Sulawesi. Nice job, guys. Oh, yeah. That's the way to start that thing off. So I'll tell you what, let's take a little break here and we'll find out about you guys. Kamala, you were telling me about uh, uh, the fact that you like to read. Yes. Yeah, what kind of books do you like? I like to read mystery. Yes, and your favorite author? Nancy Drew. She's very good. And what would you like to do when you get older? I would like to become a lawyer. I think that will work fine. Very good for you. And Jamil, you like to do a lot of things, but you were telling me about a uh, baseball card collection you have. Yes, I have 500 cards. And your most valuable one? Babe Ruth. How much do you think that's worth? I don't know. Mm, lots of money, I bet. Okay. Felicia, how are you? Fine. Tell me about yourself. What do you like to do? I like to run track. 
and I like to do a lot of activities. Well, listen, it's great to have all you guys here. Enjoy yourself. Let's catch us a crook, shall we? Welcome them all to the show, if you would please. Okay, listen, we started off very nicely. Uh, everybody got that first clue right, so now we go to our second clue. And for our second clue, I understand we have some information from Acme Dromedary Net. Watch. That creepy alien is in a 2,000-year-old city in an oasis. My ancestors passed through there a lot. It was a trading center between Europe, China, India, and the Middle East. It's in Uzbekistan, formerly part of the Soviet Union. Well, communism is gone, but now there's an evil extraterrestrial hanging around. Jeez, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Okay, thanks a lot. Guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Jodhpur, Tashkent, or Tehran? Remember the clues that we heard? 2,000-year-old city, former trading center between Europe, China, India, and the Middle East, and in Uzbekistan. Okay, everybody's ready, Kamala. We'll start with you. What do you say? I said Tashkent. Tashkent. What do you think, Jamil? I said Tehran. Tehran. What do you think, Felicia? I said Tashkent. Tashkent. The answer we're looking for is Tashkent. Nice job, ladies. Okay, so that means Kamala. You come up to 70 crime bucks. Jamil, you're still at 60, but you're still in this thing. And Felicia has 70 crime bucks as well. Nice job. Now, we have just received word that Nimoy has left Tashkent and is headed to Germany. So, that means... Okay, guys, you know what that means? It's time for the lightning round. And that means that all of these questions have to do with Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is Germany. So, hands on your buzzers and listen carefully. Here we go. One of the most popular waltzes of all time was named for a river that flows through Germany. Listen to it. Is that waltz called the White Rhone, the Grey Rhine, or the Blue Danube? Kamala. The Blue Danube? Is exactly right. Nice job. Five for you. Yeah, written by Johann Strauch, the waltz king from Austria. Okay, number two. Mechanical printing began in Germany in the 1440s. Who was the inventor? Was it Martin Luther, uh, Johannes Gutenberg, or Karl Marx? Felicia. Johannes Gutenberg. Gutenberg is right. Nice job. Five for you. Question three. Sausages stuffed with everything from spiced pork to calf brains are a central part of German cuisine. Is the German word for sausage schnitzel, Wurst, or Wiener? Felicia. Schnitzel. Uh, schnitzel is not right. No, I'm sorry. Kamala. Wiener? Uh, it's not Wiener either. Jamil, is it schnitzel, Wurst, or Wiener? Wurst. Wurst is right. Nice job. And you were the first to get that one right. Okay. So that means at the end of the lightning round, Kamala has 75, Jamil 65, and Felicia 75. This is very nice, guys. Okay. For our next clue. Greg, my office. Pronto. Chief, yes, ma'am. Uh, you guys want to stay here? I'm going to check with her. This looks like it could be serious. Chief, what's up? Oh, Greg, I have the worst headache. Do you have any aspirin? Huh? Oh, no, Chief. I'm sorry I'm traveling light today. It's really slowing me down. Well, you're in luck, Chief. I just read in the uh, Acme Cranial First Aid Manual that applying light pressure to three specific pressure points can make a headache disappear. Really? Yeah. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one goes right here, mm -hmm. and one goes right here, and one right here. Oh. Huh? And then we switch. Huh? Oh, Greg. How's that? It's like magic. My headache's <laughs> gone away. You give yourself a pat on the back. Right, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now that my headache's gone, I'll make an offer. I'll award a trip anywhere in North America to the gumshoe who puts Carmen San Diego in the slammer. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's great, Chief. You know what? I'll go out there and I'll tell them all about it, okay? All right. Okay. Oh, oh, Greg, yeah, uh, Chief. you left one of your hands here. Uh, keep it, Chief. You may need a hand later on. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for uh, uh, Nimoy and the uh, waltzing Matilda. But uh, I want you to know, fortunately for us, Acme Bugnet has just received this phone conversation between Nimoy and Carmen Sandiego. Watch. Acme's closing in on you. Hide in the mountains of Morocco, south and east of Marrakesh. If you want to blend in with the Berber women who live there, paint yourself with henna. What's henna, Carmen? A red dye made from the leaves of the henna plant. The Berber women use it to draw intricate patterns on their hands and feet. Which ones are my hands and which are my feet? Why do I bother? On second thought, just turn invisible. <laughs> okay, guys, name the mountains. Is Atlas Mountains, Ahager Mountains, 
or Tabesti Mountains. Remember the clues that we heard? Mountains of Morocco, south and east of Marrakesh, and Berber women. Kamala, we'll start with you. What do you think? I chose a Hagar Mountains. A Hagar Mountains. What do you think, Jamil? I chose Atlas Mountains. Atlas Mountains. Felicia, what do you think? I chose Tabesti Mountains. Tabesti Mountains. The answer we're looking for is Atlas Mountains. Nice job, Jamil. Okay. So that means, Kamala, you'll stay at 75. Jamil, you've moved up to 75. And Felicia has 75 primers. We've got a tie game going here, guys. That's the way to do this thing. And uh, now for our next clue, we have to turn to... Hey, 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 hey. What's going on here? Excuse me. Great, great. Don't worry. We're just making some adjustments. You, you just, just keep working out there. Come on, man. I can't put up with this. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to go upstairs and check on this. I, uh, you know, I usually try to keep a pretty good attitude around here. I'm sorry. I try to keep a good attitude, but this time they're ticking off the old Gregor. Dana. Greg, you can't just walk off the set like that. You can't just mess with a picture like that. What are you doing to it's, me? It's under control now. Everything's under control. Now get back to work, okay? Dana, give me one good reason why I should go back out Greg, there. Greg, I'll give you three good reasons. Number one. Nimoy went to Luanda, mm -hmm. okay? It's the capital of a West African nation, okay. and they speak Portuguese and Bantu. Dana, that's four. That's well, four reasons. I want to give you a bonus. Dana, let me show you what a bonus is. Mm -hmm. You see this? A little squeaky toad, that is a bonus. Mm -hmm. A uh, plastic uh, goose, that's a bonus, you see? A felt hat uh, is not a bonus, I'm sorry. A big plastic pickle. That is a bonus. A uh, year's supply of coloring books is a bonus. A bunch of Play-Doh is a bonus. Those little things you can... Uh... Bonus, I love bonus. You know, never underestimate the value of a good filing system. Okay, gumshoes. Sorry. Name the uh, African nation, if you will, please. Is it Zambia, Botswana, or Angola? Remember the clues that we heard? Luanda, West African nation, where Portuguese and Bantu are spoken. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Can't guarantee we'll have a bonus involved, but possibly. Okay, looks like everybody's ready. Kamala, we'll start with you. What do you think? Zambia. Zambia. What do you think, Jamil? Zambia. Zambia. Felicia? Zambia. Zambia. The answer we're looking for is Angola. Ah. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, nobody's going to go anywhere on that. Kamali is stay at 75, Jamil stays at 75, and so does Felicia. But now, we have just received word that Nimoy has left Angola, so let's pick up the chase. The chase. See, they're chasing the, uh, never mind. All these are going to be worth five crime bucks, okay? So, hands on your buzzers, please. Watch the uh, monitor and listen very closely. Here we go. Nimoy waltz Matilda to Rio de Janeiro. What country is she in? In time, judges? Okay, Kamala, you can answer. Brazil? Brazil is right. Then she water skied down to the capital of Uruguay. Name it. Felicia. Montevideo. Montevideo's right. She headed due west to Chile. What country did she cross on the way? Felicia. Guyana. Sorry, Argentina. She shimmied across Chile's northeastern border. Now what country is she in? Felicia. Chile. Sorry, Bolivia. She hopped a train to the Inca ruins at Machu Picchu. Name the country she is in now. Jamil. Peru. Peru's right. Nice job. That means at the end of the chase round, Kamala has 80. Jamil has 80. Felicia has 80. Nice job, guys. Okay. Mm. So we're talking about a tie game right now, which is interesting because now we're going into the last clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Nimoy is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. But if you don't know very much about it, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's made a decision. We have a tie game going on here. Kamala has 80, Jamil has 80, Felicia has 80, okay? So, here is the question and our final clue. Listen carefully. We have our next clue now coming to us uh, from field a agent Maury Povich of Acme, Mr. Connie Chungnet. Watch. Here's the news, gumshoes. Nimoy whisked the waltz to the city of Wheeling. Then she went whitewater rafting on the New River. 
But the new river isn't really new. It's actually the oldest river in North America. At least that's what some geologists say. How do they know? Don't ask me. I'm not a geologist. I'm a talk show host. Good luck. Okay, thanks a lot, Maury. Okay, guys, name the state. Is it Maryland, West Virginia, or Ohio? Remember the clues that we heard? City of Wheeling, New River, and oldest river in North America. Once you have those answers, lay them down right there in front of you. Uh, okay, now uh, we're going to start now with, come on, you have 80 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 crime bucks. You'll take the lead if you're right. What'd you say? I said Ohio. Ohio is not the answer we're looking for. But this thing isn't over yet. You go down to 50, but we're not finished yet. Jamil, you also had 80 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 30. Same thing for you. You'll take the lead if you're right. What'd you say? I, was, I said West Virginia. West Virginia is exactly right. Nice job. So you jump into a big lead with 110. Felicia, you have 80 crime bucks, and you risk? 10. 10 crime bucks. Now, wait a second. If you're right, you'll have 90 crime bucks, and you and Jamil will go on to the next round. What'd you say? I was Maryland. Okay, it's not Maryland. You go down 10. That takes you to 70, but you're still in second place, which means Jamil and Felicia, you go on to the next round. Congratulations. Yeah. Kamala, listen, you are a great detective. This is a nice, tight, close game all the way through. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, we uh, assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for quick reference when you're pounding the pavement, this handy world globe. Tough break there, Chief, but I, I have confidence in you. Do you think I ought to get a bigger filing system? No. No? You're thinking this is okay? All right, well, we don't have time for that anyway, because what you have to do now is go to West Virginia to try to track down Nimoy. What you have to do is find him and bring back the waltz. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> the folks at Acme Photo Recon have put together some slides of West Virginia. Have a look. West Virginia. Mountains, mountains, and more mountains. Why are there so many mountains here? I hear they were constructed to live up to its nickname, the Mountain State. New Vrindavan, the Krishna Palace of Gold, originally built to be the home of Srila Prabhupada, leader of the Hare Krishna faith. It is now a shrine to his memory. There's over 8,000 square feet of gold leaf here. Coal. West Virginia is one of the top coal-producing states. On Nimoy's planet, they sleep on coal beds, so you might find her napping almost anywhere here. Traverse the town of Harper's Ferry. It was a scene of a slave revolt led by preacher John Brown. Today, rustic beauty makes it a popular tourist stop. Flat lands, not much of it in West Virginia, only a few river valleys. Now, I find that interesting. Why? Well. It has to do with marbles. You see, marbles made in the United States are made in West Virginia. It's the nation's marbles capital. Yet, there's hardly any flat land on which to play marbles. This, it's a mystery, gumshoes. But I know one thing. If you're playing marbles, you're not doing your job. Nimoy and Waltzing Matilda are in West Virginia. Go get them, gumshoes. Okay, guys, here we are in West Virginia. Set your stuff down right here. Take a walk right over that way. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find the Waltz, Nimoy, and a warrant for Nimoy's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order, in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Yeah. Jamil, you are ahead at the end of the last round. <laughs> you go first. What do you say? The Beckley Coal Mine. Uh, Beckley Coal Mine. Nothing there, but we're on our way. Felicia. Ogley Bay Park. Uh, Ogley Bay Park. Ogley Bay Park. Nothing there. Jamil. Smoke Hole Caverns. Smoke Hole Caverns. Nothing there. Felicia. Pearl and Buck Home. Pearl S. Buck Home. Hilbert Diddy. Okay, you got the loot, and uh, now you get a free turn. You're on the right track. Go ahead. Golly Bridge. Golly Bridge. Nope, nothing there. We're going to turn these back around. And uh, Jamil, your turn. Go ahead. Pearl S. Buck Home. Pearl S. Buck Home. 
Phil just spoke to. <laughs> Go ahead, Jamil. New Rinda Bear. Ah, yes, Nuvrin Dobbin. Nimoy. Nice job. Now, you found the loot. You also found Nimoy. But remember, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. So, Jamil, use some strategy. Be careful here. Uh, state capital. State capital. The warrant. Okay, tough break. You, had, you got those out of order. We're going to turn them back around. Felicia, your turn. Go ahead. Pearl S. Buck home. Pearl S. Buck home. Greg's favorite song. <laughs> go state ahead, Felicia. Capital. What is it? State capital. State capital. The need one more. And New Verinda. New Vrindabin. Yeah. You won. Oh, yeah. And she's got the confetti. The confetti. Quick. Get under the confetti. Quick. Okay, now come over here. All right. Oh, what is she pulling? And it's in jail already. Let's pull it again. All right. Very good. That's good. Congratulations. We have a happy person here. We have a happy person. Listen, congratulations. Thank you. You pulled that thing off very nicely. We're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. Settle down. Here we go. Jamil, listen, you were a great detective, man. You tracked uh, the crook all the way here. You almost caught him. We have something very special for you. Watch. Chief. A gumshoe needs to be in touch with the whole world, and that's why I'm giving you this world band radio so you can tune into broadcasts from all around the globe. Congratulations. I'm going to take a guess and say that you're pretty excited about this. Is that correct? Yes. I would be, too. Now, you know what you have to do? You found the loot. You found the crook. Now we have to decide where you're going to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get the trip. Have you thought about this? Yes. Don't tell us what it is. I want you to write it down right in here. Go ahead. Where do you want to go? have a, just a wild guess why you'd want to go there. Don't tell me, but I have a wild guess. Mm -hmm. So, look, you got the crook, you got the loot, you got the confetti. That wasn't bad. Now we're going to answer the phone and see what's here. Hello? As a matter of fact, yes, she is. It's for you. Hello? Gee, another amazing Earth concept. Jail, I must show this to Carmen. Look for her in Africa. What'd she say, Felicia? Look for her in Africa. Okay, then, Pally, you and I are going to Africa. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Morocco, Algeria, Sierra Leone, Libya, Niger, Cameroon, Egypt, Somalia, Rwanda, Zambia, Botswana, Mozambique, Madagascar. Greg, let's go to the map. You know what this is all about, don't you? Yes. Okay, so this is the big stuff right here. What you have to do is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each with a marker. When you are right, my friend, you will hear this sound. But if by chance you are wrong, you will hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, Felicia, this is very important. Leave the marker where it is. Come back. We will continue, okay? Yes. But if you're right, <laughs> but if you're right eight times in 45 seconds, then you will win that trip. Will that be all right with you? Yes. You're sure? Yes. Okay with you guys? Yes. I think so. Come on, Felicia. Let's get back here. Cheer on, you guys. She needs you. Felicia, all your buddies are here. Good luck to you. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go. Carmen went to Cameroon. 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 Come on. Come on, Felicia. Cameroon. Not there. Try it again. Hurry. Not there. Come on back. Mozambique. Mozambique. You know this one. Mozambique. Do it fast. Do it hurry. You got to hurry. Mozambique. Not there. Sorry. Try it again. Try it again. No, not there. Come on. Libya. Libya. You know this one. Libya. You know this one. You know it. No, not there. Try it again. Try it again. Hurry. 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 Try something. Try something. Try anything. Not that one. Come on. Zambia. Try Zambia. Come on. Let's get one of these on here. You can do it. Zambia. Hurry. Oh, hurry. Oh, not there. Try it again. Try it again. Oh, tough break. That is a tough map. You guys give her a nice round of applause, you guys. Mm. 
I'm just telling you. This is a very hard map. It's a, it's a lot of countries. It's a big uh, it's a big map of ours. It's a tough one to get. But you have to remember, you're not the loser today. You won today, right? You got the loot. You got the uh, you got the the crook. That's what you're supposed to do, Chief. That's not bad. What do you think? We're all proud of the work you did throughout the day, and for your good work, I hereby upgrade you. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Yeah, that's good. No longer a gumshoe, you're a sleuth. Now. How do you feel? Fine. I'll tell you what, in addition to that, you're going to be taking off this jacket, and we're going to give you the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket, okay? All right, buddy. Listen, you've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. You were so great over there uh, and, uh, throughout the whole game. We want, we want you to do one more thing today, and you know what it is. Do it, Michael Kelly! Yeah! Who was? Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in South Korea. Make it that it comes right on the from the Red Sea to Freeland. They'll be singing the blues. Well, they never Arkansas her steal the main come from. Well, she'll ransack Pakistan and run a scan in Scandinavia. Then she'll stick them up down under and go big pocket worth. She was the missing misdemeanor when she stole the beans from Lima. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where could she be? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? San Diego. And remember, when trouble strikes and sirens wail, Acme gumshoes never fail. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. Where is the world?